telling you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday. I have a jam packed. I never use that in real life. So the first thing that I need to do is I want to stretch, especially because I woke up with pain in my neck again, just because I have that neck strain and it hurts the worst in the morning, just because I think there's a lack of blood flow. Look, running from pain, running from strain, running from things, running from skin. And then I'm going to straighten up the living room, wash the dishes, and then head to Cafe Kitsume here in Brooklyn to get some work done. After that, I'm going to be meeting Tom, who is the founder of Small Screen in Manhattan. And we're gonna go grab lunch around like 12.30, one o'clock. And then I have like three work meetings after that. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day. Before we continue, I wanna thank Formation for sponsoring today's video. Formation is a fellowship program for software engineers looking to make their next career move and land a job they love. Formation helps engineers fill skill gaps and get mentorship from senior engineers while being supported and trained unconditionally until you are placed at a company you love. The program started in 2020 when a group of Meta and Nextdoor engineers noticed that thousands of software engineering candidates had similar skill gaps when conducting interviews. This incredible insight is how Formation created a more effective way to better prepare for the FANG level hiring bar by helping engineers gain confidence through personalized training, mentor support, and unlimited one-on-one -on -one mock interviews. So had a really cool talk today with Tom. Shout out to him, paying for lunch, for meeting up with me today. Now I'm on my way home, I forgot my microphone, so hopefully the audio isn't too bad. It was started out as a sunny day, now it's gray, it's kind of chilly. I'm a little underdressed. So today I decided to take a walk. It is later in the day. What time is it? It's like 5 p.m. And I just needed to take a walk just to get some fresh air. Decided to walk to Fort Greene Park, this nearby park in Brooklyn. It's really beautiful, even though the trees are pretty much dead, but you get a nice vantage point of Brooklyn and can even see some of the buildings in Manhattan. I've been feeling a bit anxious, so I just needed to take like a mental health walk. Anyways, we're in this Arcteric, I think it's called a toke. Maybe not, I think it's just a beanie. And AirPods Max that I stole from Lee. Actually, she stole from me and I stole them back. I know I make these videos to be relaxing and inspiring, so I don't wanna to get too personal, but you know, it's funny I make these videos, but I'm just like, you know, I deal with everyday anxieties and worries and fears and doubts like the next person. But uh, sometimes it's nice to be vulnerable, kinda using my platform as like my own personal therapy session. Before I drink my coffee, I'm gonna have some Bloom Superfood Greens, which is like this probiotic drink that helps you with your digestion and it reduces bloating. And I think coffee actually causes a lot of bloating in the morning. And I'm trying not to drink coffee the first thing in the morning. I'm not even gonna front, this doesn't taste good, but I feel like the coconut is probably the best tasting one. Maybe not, whatever. Could be worse, you know? Hey, it's all about having a healthy mind, body, 
in order to have a more productive day and actually feel good throughout the day. It's one thing to like be productive and get stuff done. It's another thing to have a free mind and also a relaxed body. I always try to go for a light and a dark color. I don't know. Makes sense to me. My wife goes for two of the colorful ones. There's this really interesting perspective on YouTube and video trend, which is like living alone somewhere, like living alone in New York, living alone in London. And those videos do so well because it's a unique perspective, but I don't see a ton of like not living alone in New York City type videos. So why not? I don't live alone. I live here with my wife. Most people I know either live with their partner, their roommates, or they're like family. It's so expensive here. A lot of people choose, especially in their 20s, to live with roommates just to split these outrageous rent prices. So I still consider myself somewhat of a software engineer. I do have developer in my job title, but when I was programming full time and prepping, for FANG level technical interviews. I remember how difficult it was just trying to figure out what to study for and how to prepare. Throughout the fellowship, fellows trained with senior engineering mentors from companies like Google, Microsoft, and Airbnb who provide actionable feedback during unlimited one-on-one -on -one small group and mock interview sessions. When you do well on a topic, you'll advance faster. When you need more support, you'll receive additional mentorship and learning sessions until you've truly mastered each concept so you're confident going into every interview. Thank you to Formation for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out Formation with this link down in the description box. On my way to Uniqlo today, because I need some like white t-shirts. So I like to wear my long sleeve or short sleeve, but preferably long sleeve white t-shirts underneath my sweaters, specifically the ones that are cashmere because cashmere is kind of itchy on my skin. My favorite thing about New York is just being able to walk everywhere, not needing a car in New York City and taking a transit and just walkable cities in general. But after really experiencing it the past like 90 days of living in Brooklyn, I never need to use a car. I got rid of my car and I just love that I actually do have everything within like one to two miles of where I live. It sounds crazy to say that because I feel like there's not a lot of places in America or really any place in America where you have everything you need within one to two miles. 